Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to get your first 1,000 email list subscribers for free and what I believe is the best method that you can use right now. So whether you are a brand spanking newbie or you're an established business owner, you need to be building your email list. Your email list is an asset that you own. It's not something like a YouTube channel or a Facebook profile or Instagram or LinkedIn that can be shut down at any time for whatever reason. The other thing is that people on your email list have chosen to hear from you. So they have willingly given you their email address so that they can hear what you have to say and they end up becoming your best customers and clients. Now, there are dozens of different ways you can grow your list. One of the fastest ways, but also one of the most expensive ways is through paid advertising. So the way that that works is you have some kind of free report or a guide, you have a landing page where someone gives you their email address in exchange for that guide or that report and you run paid advertising on Facebook or YouTube or Snapchat or TikTok to that landing page so that they give you their email address and you build your list that way. But I know not everyone has the money to spend thousands of dollars on testing out paid advertising and driving people to build their email list. So I wanna share a free method today and that method is using Facebook groups. Now Facebook groups are really cool because it's kinda of like hosting a party at your house, right? People are willing to come to your party and talk and listen to you because you are the host. And that is the benefit of having your own Facebook group. Now compare that to just mindlessly posting on your personal profile where you're just going to somebody else's house and you're just shouting and you're trying to get people to pay attention to you. It's a lot harder to engage with people and get them to pay attention when they're not in your group. So today I'm gonna to reveal how to build your own Facebook group and how to get your first 1,000 email list subscribers using your Facebook group. So let's dive into my computer right now. All right, so here I am on one of my Facebook groups called Email Marketing Rainmakers, and this one has 1.2K members. I started this about 11 months ago, 10 or 11 months ago. And here's another group. This is the first group that I started, which has 4.2K members called Productized Profits. So I also have my email list here, which has 6,901 contacts. And these Facebook groups have been a big part in helping me grow my email list to the first thousand subscribers and up to 6,000 plus subscribers now. So I wanna share that strategy with you today on how to create your own Facebook group that helps you to grow your email list and get your first thousand subscribers. So that's what we're gonna talk about. And I'm just gonna walk through it right now. So the first step is to create a group around a very specific result or a group of people. Now, this is an example of what I would call a group of people, email marketers and people who like to write emails or wanna learn how to use email to grow their business. An example of a result focus group could be something around start your first digital marketing agency, all right? Start a five figure or six figure digital marketing agency. Okay, so that could be result focused. This is more based around people who are interested in email marketing or who are email marketers and copywriters. Now the name of the group is very important because that is what's gonna attract people to join your group. So you can see this one, this is gonna attract email marketers and people who are interested in using email to grow their business. The productized profits group. This is around building an info product business, right? So this is gonna attract people who wanna build digital and info products. So the name is very important, not just to attract and excite the people that you are trying to, to work with, but also because of the keywords, right? So people who are searching for info product groups or how to productize yourself, uh, or people who are searching for email marketing are going to find my groups, right? So that's step number one, is to create a group around a specific result or a group of people. So the second step is to create some kind of freebie that you're gonna give away to people when they join your group. So this group's about email marketing. Uh, people who join this group are gonna be interested in email marketing. So I created something called the Subject Line Secrets Report. And I made this in a few hours in Canva. And it's what I give away to people in exchange for their email address when they join my group. So here's what the, the page looks like for them to, once they join my group, they can get this and download it by giving me their first name and email address. And this is just like an eight page report on how to write good subject lines. And that's what you wanna do as well. Think about your group. What can you give away? What's like a small little thing that you can give away to people in exchange for their email address when they join your group, right? Think about what that is. I can't tell you what that is because I don't know what your group's about. But for example, my group's around email marketing. I created something called the Subject Line Secrets Report, which teaches you just one little piece of how to write a good subject line. Now, step number three is to leverage the three membership questions to qualify and collect email addresses. So if I go here to membership questions, you can see here, question one is a qualifier. It says, what type of business do you run, right? I'm just trying to get 
an idea of what types of people are joining this group. So I have some common examples, information, online education, e-commerce, SaaS, professional services, and there's also a bubble here for them to fill out other if it's not one of these four here. So that's question one. It's more of a qualifier, like what niche are you and what kind of business do you run? Question two is the one that collects their email address. So you can see here, enter your email only if you wanna put, or if you want my subject line secrets report. Do not just put yes, put your email address. And I'll tell you why I say this in a second here. And then question three says, we help people make their first 1K to 5K per month online, writing simple emails for other businesses. Would you like us to private message you the details explaining how, type yes or no. So this one is, I have a coaching program, and if someone wants to learn more about it, they just put yes in here and I just reach out via private message and we get coaching sales that way. So you can see here, qualifier, right? What type of business do they run? If they say something like, I don't run any type of business, I don't know what you're talking about. Sometimes I won't let them into the group because it doesn't make sense. Question two is enter your email if you want my freebie or my subject line secrets report. And then question three is if they want more details about my coaching program, they put yes and then I reach out directly. So for your group, you can have a very similar structure, right? One question to figure out who they are and a little more info about them. Question two could be whatever your freebie is, you're giving it to them in exchange for them putting their email address here. And then question three is maybe you have a course or a coaching program or some kind of product. You can ask people if they want it here. And then if they say yes, you can send it over to them via private message. Now, the reason I say do not put yes is I use a software called Group Funnels. And what GroupFunnels does is it automatically takes people's email addresses that they enter here when they join my group and it ports them into ActiveCampaign, which is how I send my emails and where I keep the list of contacts of people who opt in. So when someone joins my group, if they put their email address here, I use the tool called GroupFunnels, I'll link to it below, and it just automatically takes their email address and puts them onto my email list where I can then market to them and show them my different offers and they get on my daily email list. So those are the three questions very powerful if you learn how to leverage it for your business. So if you create a group, make sure that you are using these three questions to qualify and collect email addresses with the tool group funnels if you're using that. Now step four, how do you get your first 100 plus group members, right? How do you get people to your group? Well, there's a lot of grinding and hustling. If you're gonna do it free, you're gonna have to post a lot of content and get people interested in joining your group. So one way to do that is just, if I go to my personal profile here, you can see I make a lot of personal posts or I was making a lot of personal posts and I linked to my Facebook group in my bio here, right? My uh, information on the left here and in my bio, this links to my Facebook group. So you can do the same thing. If you are not using any paid advertising, you're going to need to get people's attention and share with them why they need to join your group. And you can do that through content on your personal Facebook profile and then having these links here to your group. So there's no easy way or magic pill way to get people into your group. It's just posting relevant content and having links for people to join your group if they're interested in that type of content. Now, the cool thing about Facebook groups is once you, once you reach around 100 to 200 members, Facebook is gonna have a better idea of the types of people who are joining your group and the niche that your group is in, and it's gonna start recommending your group for free to other people who are just like the people who are already in your group. Now, I don't know if I can see it on my end. Usually there's like a, there's other groups here that are promoted. Let me see if I can find an example here. So if I go to this group, let's see if it shows me any similar groups. Uh, it's not showing it right now, but it used to show similar groups here on the right hand side under this. Uh, maybe it's just not showing up for whatever reason. But once you reach a few hundred subscribers, or not subscribers, once you reach a few hundred members in your group, then Facebook's gonna start showing it to other people and it's gonna start showing it in its own search engine here. Now, another thing is if you wanna speed up the members in your group and you wanna speed up the growth of your group, you can always run paid advertising to that free report or that free guide that you created and getting people into your group that way. But if you don't have any money to spend or invest, you can just start posting content organically and getting people interested in joining your group. And you can easily get your first 100 members by just doing that and staying consistent with content. So if you're looking for your first 100 or 1,000 email list subscribers and whether you are a brand spanking newbie or an established business owner who's just starting their email list, I highly recommend you do it the way that I showed you in this video. The cool thing about Facebook groups is they're free to start. And also when you are growing your email list using a Facebook group, you're gonna be growing both your Facebook group community and your email list at the same time. So you're growing two different assets at the same time and you're using one to grow the second. 
And my Facebook group and my email list are the two biggest drivers of my sales. And I use content to get people into my Facebook group. And then from there, they're on my email list. So I'm able to grow both my community on Facebook and also my email list both at the same time. Now, if you wanna see how my, my Facebook group operates and how I run my Facebook group, you can always join for free. If you're not already, go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you directly to the group. And it's also gonna teach you more about email marketing, email copywriting, if that's what you're interested in. So go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my group where you can join for free. So if you enjoyed this and you got value out of this and you wanna see more content around Facebook groups and email list building, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.